Uh, this is the Boeing 747 interior video. Uh, so I made uh, parts of the plane. I'm going to make interior for this one. And uh, now I'm going to draw the chair, the side view of the chair, the seat. I'm using polyline. and adjusting the arcs and now I'm going to extrude the drawing and copy it to the plane like this and uh, since they are too big, I'm going to scale them, but first I'm going to add three more seats and the passage in between. And now I'm scaling the seats. using reference points so I can scale them exactly in inside the plane so they fit and moving them to the right height Now I'm just going to copy the seats all over the plane. and copying some more uh, until I have enough of the seats. So this is basically the idea how to make it not the exact interior. and copying the chairs some more till the end of the plane. Deleting this one. Okay, um, now I'm going to draw uh, the separation between front part and the sitting part of the plane. Here. I'm going to stretch this polyline because it didn't snap to the point I wished for. Moving it a bit to achieve the right thickness. And just extrude it to the other side of the plane. So extrude to 
to here. And I'm making the passage between sitting area and the front part of the plane using rectangle and extrude and I'm going to subtract from the separation this cube to cut through it so that's it the compartments above the seats luggage compartments I'm just going to make the outline of the shape of the upper part also using polyline straight and arced Move the arcs back to fit the shape and here as well. Uh, so I'm now drawing the section of the compartment in this view, later I'm going to extrude it along the polyline I made before because it is curved a bit, uh, I cannot just extrude it I need to extrude it along the path so it follows the curve of the play itself I'm just adjusting these arcs a bit so they are not broken trimming the lines and joining into one polyline and now I'm going to extrude it from here to the end of the plane So I'm going to move it back I will have to move the polyline uh, for extrusion and the path outside the plane since uh, this is hard to select since uh, the solids are overlapping I'm going to just move it to the side and extrude there and I'm going to trim this part because the compartments don't go all the way to the back so I just need this left polyline and stretch a bit so the compartments cover the space over three seats and you choose extrude and you choose P for the path and you just select the path you want 
your polyline to extrude along and move it back using reference points so it's placed properly and uh, I'm going to mirror these compartments to the other side over the seats on the left on the right and I'm just going to cut uh, this part I don't need behind the seats also making rectangle extruding it and uh, subtracting from the compartments So I extruded it and now I'm going to subtract. You select options subtract, select solids you want to cut from and you choose the cutter at the end. I'm going to separate it in few layers so it is easier to work with. separate the seats and the compartments above If you want to deselect some objects, uh, you just use shift and uh, repeat the selecting step so you deselect it. So I change the layers for the separation and the seats as well. And I can now turn off separate parts if I need. I need to make the middle part of the ceiling here as well. Basically, I'm going to draw polyline again and extrude it straight because the middle uh, is not curved, it is straight line. So I'm just drawing this part in the middle on the ceiling. So this doesn't work, so I'm going to trim this part in the middle and draw another curve here and simply join it at the end. So option join and you select all the objects you want to join together and I'm going to trim this part in the middle a bit so you can add details as many as you like this is just an example how to do it joining the polyline and I'm going to move it to the separation part so I can extrude along the plane all the way to the end I'm going to use these compartments as reference to the length I'm also going to make the floor 
underneath the seats. Again, I'm drawing the outline of the inner side of the plane so I can extrude it for the floor. Polyline arcs and lines and pushing back the arcs to the plane shape. When many solids are overlapping, there can be problem with Uh, snap points so you can just rotate a bit the model so you can place it as you wish or you can turn on some layers if they are bothering you to do this okay so extruding this line for the floor so this is the floor underneath the seats and I'm going to use front view to move it so I can see where I'm moving it to and it is done so this is the simple plane interior you can add as many details as you like regarding to what you want to achieve with the model. And this is a very simple way to do it, turning the layers on, so that's it.